Hi, it's Katrina. From an ancient ship found buried under ground zero to a mummy swimming in liquid, here are 10 amazing discoveries made by accident. Number 10. The Girl in the Backyard A San Francisco contractor doing a bit of work in a client's backyard discovered a casket that contained the body of an unidentified little girl. The casket was made from metal and had two viewing windows in the lid, kind of like Sleeping Beauty. The casket was sealed, preserving the body of the girl inside, but the mystery here was that the coffin appeared to come from the 1800s, meaning it had been buried in the client's backyard for possibly 200 years. The discovery of the mysterious coffin became a huge story in San Francisco in 2016, but it wasn't until some time later that DNA evidence uncovered the identity of the deceased. According to ABC News, the girl was identified as Edith Howard Cook, who died on October 13, 1876, at the young age of only two. She had been buried in her family plot back in 1876, but that family plot later became the site of a residency in San Francisco's Lone Mountain neighborhood. All burials stopped in 1902. Most of the remains were exhumed and then transferred to a new cemetery, but apparently the body of Edith had been left behind. She stayed under the ground until the unfortunate contractor dug her up. The funeral home records from the 1800s showed the girl's cause of death as something known as marasmus, which is an old term used to describe undernourishment. Researchers have said that the awful conditions of urban living in the 1800s and possibly an infectious disease led to her ultimate death. The young girl has since been provided with a proper burial and grave plot in Colma's Green Lawn Cemetery. Number 9. Mysterious River Cubes A magnet fisherman recently pulled 60 mysterious cubes out of a river in England. Nobody knows what they are, how they got into the river in the first place, or where they even came from. Each of the 60 cubes found by the fisherman and his sons depict what experts believe are sacred numerical inscriptions written in Sanskrit. The blocks appear to be made out of lead. They are small enough to hold between your finger and thumb, and each one is decorated with a neat grid and curious writings. As you can imagine, there was some confusion over what exactly the fisherman had found. In a desperate attempt to make some sense out of the cubes, he posted pictures of them to social media. He immediately got some responses, and it turned out that the cubes may have been connected to a type of Hindu prayer ritual. They definitely appeared Indian in origin, and the writings on them could have been incantations used for prayers, which were only effective when throwing the cube into running water. Of course, there is still the mystery of how Indian prayer cubes got lost in a rural English river, as well as just how long they have been there. Number 8. The Buried Ship the last place anyone expected to find a buried ship was underneath Ground Zero, but when construction began on the One World Trade Center, deep underground, workers once again hit something surprising. It was the hull of a ship underneath the ground where the New York City World Trade Center once stood. The boat had been buried underneath the center for 200 years, and not a single person knew it was there. According to CNN, the boat has since been traced back to Philadelphia and the colonial era, Research done by the Tree Ring Research Laboratory helped to date the ship using the rings and the white oak from its frame. They figured out that the wood was probably cut down in 1773. However, how exactly the ship became buried in the middle of New York is a whole different matter altogether. It was found about 22 feet underground, inside of what was once the bottom of a river. The ship was probably used for between 20 and 30 years, sailing along Lower Manhattan until at some point it sank and floated to the bottom of the river. Then it was eventually covered over by trash and fill material that was used to extend the shoreline of Manhattan in a big project to expand the island. Many years later, the World Trade Center was built on top. Number 7. Egyptian Mummy Workshop While performing some ordinary archaeological digs near the Unas Pyramid in Memphis, the old capital of ancient Egypt, experts stumbled upon an extraordinarily rare and very unexpected discovery. They found a mummification workshop that dates back 2,500 years. The workshop had likely been used in rituals to embalm and prepare dead bodies for mummification and their journey into the afterlife. The workshop was found with an embalmer's toolkit, including pottery vessels, measuring cups, and other interesting paraphernalia. The workshop was probably used between 664 and 404 BC, 
and archaeologists are now hoping that they can learn more about the embalming process and mummification from the 26th dynasty. Head of the mission, Ramadan Hussein, told reporters that the workshop is a gold mine of information. Many of the embalmers' leftover artifacts should be able to help modern scientists figure out the chemical composition of many of the oils used in the mummification process. There were even mummy masks discovered and silver masks from Egyptian priests, along with jars that would have been used to keep organs inside after they were extracted from the dead. Number 6. The Sarmatian Warrior Woman Russian archaeologists have unearthed a very impressive tomb with some serious historical significance. They discovered the tomb of a Sarmatian female warrior who apparently worshipped fire. The tomb was discovered complete with 100 arrowheads, a collection of knives, a sword, and a horse harness. All of these artifacts have led researchers to believe the woman was a warrior. She was also found with gems, gold, and other jewelry that indicates a high social status. If you're not sure who the Sarmatians were, they were nomadic people who lived between the 5th century BC and the 4th century AD throughout Moldova and Ukraine, as well as Russia and Iran. These were not to be confused with the Scythians. The Sarmatians were different in that they worshipped a god of fire instead of a god of nature, and of course they had a few other cultural differences. The women often fought alongside the men in war and battle. If they were married, they would be buried along with their spouses. According to experts working with the Institute of Archaeology at the Russian Academy of Sciences, there were 29 burial mounds accidentally discovered during the construction of a new airport. The construction crews clearing out the large area came across many of these mounds that were already in bad shape. Most of the tombs had already been pillaged, and so finding the warrior's tomb fully intact and full of artifacts was a huge surprise. What's your favorite ancient civilization that not many people know about? Let me know in the comments below! Number 5. Indigenous Ritual Pillar Some unexpected historical treasure was recently discovered on a beach in Victoria, Vancouver Island. A pillar that apparently belonged to a local indigenous group was found by a person wandering along Dallas Road Beach at low tide. According to the Royal BC Museum, the pillar was indeed a genuine indigenous artifact. It was believed to be a Lekwungen ritual stone pillar used in ancient ceremonies such as puberty rites, feeding of the dead, and to celebrate the first salmon. After its initial discovery, indigenous leaders in the area became very excited about it. The chief of the Songhees Nation told local news media that the discovery of the pillar was a clear reminder of the long history of the indigenous people living in the region. As for where exactly the artifact came from, it was initially believed that it had been perched on a seaside cliff, but at some point in the 20th century, it had fallen into the ocean, where it eventually appeared on the shore. However, the excitement soon turned to controversy when a local artist came forward to say that it was not actually an artifact at all, but simply a piece of stone that he had carved for fun. The First Nations elders were not able to see the pillar for themselves due to COVID restrictions, and the artist could not be reached for comment. The local museum was forced to go back and properly test the statue to see how old it truly was, and as of right now, the whole thing has turned into a local disaster. The museum has reported that they have worked with the First Nations for many years and seem to have good reason to suggest the pillar was from the territory. For now, the pillar is being hidden away until they can figure it out. Number 4. The Head of Hermes Roadwork in Athens uncovered yet another outstanding archaeological treasure. This wasn't a mummy or a secret tomb, it was instead the severed head of Hermes. Of course, it wasn't a real head of flesh and bone, but the likeness of the Greek messenger god. The head was found underneath Aeolus Street, which in ancient Greece would have been at the very heart of the bustling city of Athens, and to this day is a public thoroughfare used by pedestrians. Naturally, this street has been excavated before. One of the most impressive finds was in 1885, when the statue of Hercules was discovered just across the street from where road workers accidentally found the head of Hermes. Hercules was found naked with a lion slung over his left shoulder. His statue is currently on display at the National Archaeological Museum. There are probably dozens and dozens of broken statues and lost relics buried underneath this single street, seeing as it has been around basically since Athens was founded. However, it would be impossible to dig up the entire road and see everything that has been lost to time. This small bit of construction managed to find one head of one god that had been separated from the rest of its body. 
the workers didn't manage to find the rest of the statue. Still, the Ministry of Culture is working hard to restore Hermes' head to its former glory. Number 3. The Puffin Island Rabbit Hole The small island of Skokholm off the coast of Wales was a popular tourist destination before the pandemic. But with no visitors going to the island, its caretakers didn't have much to do. So one day, while wandering the island, one of the caretakers found a prehistoric tool from the Stone Age sitting inside of a rabbit hole. The tool ended up dating back 9,000 years and was probably used for either cracking shellfish open or for preparing seal hides. But the fun didn't stop there. The next day, a burial urn dating back almost 4,000 years was found inside of the same rabbit hole. This is nothing short of incredible, especially since the island has basically been uninhabited for hundreds of years. The island is currently used as a bird observatory with no proper residence other than the two caretakers. The Vikings inhabited the island during the 10th or 11th centuries, but now it turns out that human habitation of Skokholm Island goes way further back. As of right now, nobody has any idea who these ancient people may have been, though they could have been using the island for hunting seals. Number 2. The Mysterious Box Workers in the east of China were trying to widen a road in the city of Taizhou when they came across the strangest discovery ever. The road workers were about six feet below the surface when they hit something solid. It turned out to be a buried tomb. Professional archaeologists had to be called in to investigate the mystery, and what they discovered was a hidden chamber underneath the city streets dating back 700 years. Encased inside the stone tomb was a slightly smaller wooden box, and inside of the box was the mummy of a woman soaking in a bloody red liquid and buried under layers of fabric and clothing. It was absolutely bizarre. The coffin had somehow been encased nearly 1,000 years ago, and the body of the woman inside was almost perfectly preserved. Experts have since claimed her to be a prominent member of the Ming Dynasty. She was found wearing extremely expensive jewelry and wrapped in very expensive garments. As of right now, nobody has managed to identify the woman. She's been transferred into the care of professional archaeologists and will be going on display at a local museum in China. Number 1. More Dead Sea Scrolls The original Dead Sea Scrolls are said to have been found completely by accident by a sheep herder in some caves near the Dead Sea of Israel. That was back in 1947, and they are still one of the most important archaeological finds of the 20th century. But now, there's more! The Israel Antiquities Authority recently announced in late 2020 that even more of these mysterious biblical scrolls have just been found in the Judean desert. And it's the first time that additional fragments of Dead Sea Scrolls have been found in over 60 years. The findings came while Israel authorities were checking out a desert cave system but they had never imagined that they would find even more amazing relics. All they were doing this time was running a typical survey of desert caves and ravines, a survey that has been going on since 2017. It was assumed that all the Dead Sea Scrolls were already taken by thieves or looters, and that there was nothing big left to find. Archaeologists were looking for tiny things that looters may have missed. The missing pieces of the Dead Sea Scrolls were found inside of what has been called the Cave of Horror. 20 fragments were discovered, and now the number has gone up to 80, all dating back to the 1st century AD. Some of the fragments include texts from the Book of the Twelve Minor Prophets written in Greek. They might be missing pieces from a larger group of scroll fragments found in the Cave of Horror. But why is it called that? When it was discovered in 1952, the cave was filled with the remains of 40 men, women, and children all of which had apparently been hiding from the Romans back between 132 and 136 AD. These people had likely starved to death hiding in the cave. Also, the only way to get inside the cave is by spelunking 262 feet below a cliff using climbing equipment. Definitely a thrill for archaeologists who want to spice up their day. Thanks for watching! What's the craziest thing you've ever found by accident? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!